Farming's become extremely complex. Technology makes things easier but harder because you've got to figure out how to implement technology and where do you stop? I started farming when I was 18 years old. I uh, went to school, got a degree in finance, came back and farmed. I think the tougher side of farming is, is that there's just, um, it's such a slippery slope on pricing and yield. I think more and more farmers are looking for extra help because of really the technology and try to bridge not only where we're at today with basic agronomic principles, but then how do you tie the investment that they've made in equipment, whether it's a variable rate seeding, variable rate nitrogen, drip tape, how do you bring that full circle? Shane and I started working together about five years ago. He's got a lot of variability, so it's looking at variable rate nitrogen, variable rate seeding. Now with uh, the drip tape, we're able to really optimize his nutrient availability and uh, see how we can push to high yields. The path we were on first was center pivots, and I described it as an amusement park. And to irrigate the amount of acres that we are irrigating out of this, it'd take six pivots. And they're in the way, and it's like, how in the world do you even farm? Currently, we have about 380 acres with the NetFM drip. I think uh, making a change in your farming operation needs to be about risk mitigation, and I think drip is maybe the best tool to do that with when we talk about the yield differences that we are attaining, not just once in a while here and there, but widespread. Farms at one time were profitable because they were getting bigger and bigger, and they were making more money with the economics of, of size. Now growers are asking, how do I make more profit on fewer acres? As we see commodities and, and uh, inputs continue to rise, it's really that optimization and efficiency. I may not have to farm to you know maybe another five or six hundred acres if I can better optimize the 500 acres that I have. So that's where drip comes in because of the level of control that a grower has with his crop getting more yield more efficiently. The aha moment to me is with drip right out of the gate year number one we can make sure we've got that fuel tank that that water available to the root and we can get it into the plant. Now when Shane puts his mind to something it's not it's not small. He's going to go. He's going to go big from the start. So you can see that uh, 400 acres of drip is a is a substantial uh, step forward in the drip irrigation. Do every acre you can. Why stop? It works. Um, the returns there, uh, and the only way you're going to get better at it is to put it in. And the more acres you got, the more acres you've got to get better with.